Hello, folks. So, we're doing something a little bit different tonight. I know, I've usually been been streaming arcade games. It's been fun. But every now and then, you know, might as well mix it up, do something else. In this case, I wanted to do something that... Uh, I actually had this idea to stream this a, a while back. I just never got around to it. I got caught up in other things. But with the, uh, the, whole, the whole Desert Bus for Charity marathon going on, it made me uh, remember... I wanted to to show the uh, one of the other parts of Penn and Teller Smoke and Mirrors that people don't talk about. People only know this game for for Desert Bus, but there's more to it than that. And it kind of annoyed me that nobody has uh, has really documented what happens in the uh, in the end of the Smoke and Mirrors game, or shown much of it at all. So, and I figure since I actually have that knowledge, I might as well do it. I might as well stream it. And so that's what's going to happen tonight. Of course, a little uh, a little backstory if uh, for those that uh, that don't actually know the the whole lore behind uh, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. It was, of course, an, an unreleased uh, Sega CD game, which was also scheduled to come out on the uh, I think the PC CD ROM and the the 3DO. Either way, it didn't get released because Absolute Entertainment went out of business right before the game was set to be released. Plus, the game was coming out around the time that uh, that people stopped caring about the Sega CD because the Sega CD uh, didn't really live up to the hype. People got tired of uh, of all FMV games. Not that all Sega CD games were were all just fucking digital pictures FMV games, but either way, the the console was kind of dying. People were moving on to 32-bit. Etc. Etc. So the game uh, didn't get released until uh, somebody sent uh, Frank Cafaldi, a uh, a man who cares more about video game preservation than anybody else. Uh, they sent him a uh, somebody uh, who worked for like a, a magazine or something and had a review copy of it. Sent him a copy and told him to put the the game on the internet for everyone to enjoy. That was like back in two thousand five, two thousand six. And thus, uh, the internet, the internet had uh, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors preserved forever. And it's amazing how much uh, how much good has come about from the game, just for the just for how much Desert Bus has raised for charity. But like I said, there's other parts to this game that that should probably be shown off. <laughs> there won't be blast processing, but there will be thermo graphics. Actually, I don't even know if I know the trick to doing the whole thermographics thing. Like I said, I wanted to focus on the uh, on the actual game. They uh, they included an actual game called Smoke and Mirrors, which was supposed to be the the centerpiece of the game instead of it being remembered for uh, for Desert Bus. But I don't know. Let's uh, let's run through the games. I'm gonna might as well start up the intro. Put this up here. Switch over. Man, I totally sold out. Of course, a lot of this FMV is going to look really bad because, you know, Sega CD. Bad. 
This is totally state of the art. Hi, I'm Penn Gillette, and this is my partner, Teller. Welcome to our video game, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. This is Absolute Entertainment's top secret Ultramat testing center, where Teller and I have spent the last year or so. We've been holed up in here designing, drawing, and programming every single aspect of this game all by our lonesome. Now, if you know anything at all about Penn and Teller, you'll know this isn't going to be your typical shoot 'em, kick 'em, jump 'em video game. So, if you're, let's say, looking to goof around with short immigrant piping engineers with lots of facial hair, or some hyperactive nocturnal insectivorous mammal, or a couple of guys pounding each other's brains out, well, that's it. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on, go, pound that sucker. Yeah, chest move, finish up. Death move, death move, death move, death move, death move, death move. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I know some of the audio is really loud, but. The winner and still champion. I will be back to kill again. <laughs> if you like any of that sort of stuff, you're playing the wrong video game. We've got some great things here. I mean, there's the okay, uh, low fold. Psychic Gorilla, a mind-reading monkey that'll, that'll just kill you dead. Sun Scorcher, that uses amazingly intense and dangerous graphics that Teller and I invented. <laughs> just the best, isn't he? It's all sleight of hand. Amazing. There's uh, oh, uh, Desert Bus, the only bus simulator available <laughs> on really any bad. Sega platform. Buzz Bombers. A sneak preview <laughs> of a brand new absolute game that introduces two super cool characters. <coughs> ah, what's your sign? Tell and I will figure out which sign of the zodiac you are with the help of our patented personometer device. And of course, smoke and mirrors, featuring yours truly and Teller doing things no one's ever done in a game before. Yep, you really got to be impressed with all the work we've put into this game. I mean, this baby was ours from beginning to end. We poured our heart and our soul into it. Man, the nights we spent. Tell her, remember? Hey, guys, how are you doing? Oh, 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 hi, hi, buddy. Uh, uh, these, oh, the pizzas. Oh, sure, yeah, the pizzas. Anchovies, pepperoni, mushroom, meatballs, oh, okay, the trimmings. Good, all good. The trimmings. well, why don't you just, uh, just here's the money. Uh, all I've got is a... All I'm gonna do is more, more, more money, Teller. More money, Teller. Uh, do you need any more ideas today? Uh, oh no, we're, we're uh, taping. How'd we're taping. No, thing the idea about? of having anchovy pizza was really good. Did uh, uh, Did Desert Bus go over? Why don't you just? How about uh, those uh, yeah, yeah, why don't you, We got the pizzas. We uh, got you the. You need any more jokes? Sure you, you like the one pizzas. about the bear? <laughs> Sometimes when you're play, working all night, it's nothing like having a having a nice slice of pizza to help you get ideas. Get it? The pizza guy made the game. Anyway. So it gives you uh, six games here. Actually, there we go. And it's interesting to note that uh, that intro you saw is just the uh, the normal intro. There's actually a different intro that uh, that starts if you if you start the game from uh, the player two controller, which uh, tells you like some of the uh, the tricks for these games. Because basically, uh, most of these games are set up to uh, to basically fool people, fool your friends. Like uh, so, what's your sign? Is a uh, is a game where it's supposed to read your uh, the astrology sign and the birthday of of somebody, and the way that works is that you have to insert enter in a person's birthday ahead of time, and then uh, they use their persona meter to to magically figure out the the person's birthday. You know, it's it's all bullshit that you have to that you have to set up in advance. Mofo the psychic gorilla is like a, a card reading thing. Where uh, you basically have the the psychic gorilla read the card that a person has drawn, and the way that works is that you have to see the card that uh, that has been drawn too, and then you put in uh, a secret code on the uh, on the controller, and then the psychic gorilla will will read that card. Again, it's like you have to you have to know how to put in the code, and you have to do it, and then pass the controller over to somebody else, and they answer these yes or no questions. It's kind of weird. Desert bus, we all know desert bus. Buzz, Buzz Bombers is a a, a really shitty two-player uh, Space Invader style game, I guess you could say, where uh, it's it's forced two players all the time, and the way it works is that like you're supposed to be competing for score, and you can totally rig it 
so that uh, you'll always get points and the other person will, will keep dying or something like that. Again, because you have to put in secret codes to make sure like you always win no matter what. And then there's Sunscorcher, which uh, is actually the, the funniest of the, of the scam games. It's like a uh, kind of a first person, well not first person, but uh, it's, a, it's a shooting game which has thermographics. Which they uh, they build it up to be like uh, it's the thermographics are so hot they're uh, you touch the screen it's gonna burn your finger off, and so you're supposed to have somebody else play it and then you point to the screen when the thermographics come up and then you act like it burns your finger. I can show these intros later if you uh, if people want to want to see that stuff. I don't remember like all the tricks for like the uh, the card reading or whatever. Like a sun scorcher, you had to press a button a few times on the on the name entry screen or something like that. I don't know. It's actually kind of funny. And then there's smoke and mirrors, which is basically a platformer, a platformer adventure game. It's not quite a uh, a point and click game, but it's kind of similar in that regard because it uh, it has you picking up a lot of items. You have no idea what they do a lot of the time, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on here because I want to. Uh, I want to get through the entire game on stream because not many people have gotten through to the end. Most people have played it, they get stuck, and then they just kind of they just kind of quit, which is completely understandable because it is kind of kind of obtuse. I ended up uh, some years back when I first started playing this. I ended up uh, taking some notes down. I was going to make it into a, a full blown FAQ, full blown fact, and then I never finished it. I never released it, much like my. Uh, my super spy fact that I never finished, so. So let's show off Smoke and Mirrors. Now the thing about Smoke and Mirrors is that it actually has two difficulty levels. Normal and Impossible. Obviously, we, we gotta start with Impossible difficulty, just to, just to... Just to let you know what kind of game you're in for. That's right, totally withholding information, except now it's all going to be uh, out there. Actually, I'm going to skip the intro. I'll show the intro on the normal run. So here you go. It's kind of a, you know, side-scrolling platformer. Can't do anything with the buttons yet. You can, you can go into the pause menu, but you can't actually use the buttons on impossible mode because uh, this happens. It speaks for itself. Hey, Teller, it's Lou Reed, the original rock and roll animal himself. Lou, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? This is the impossible level, boys. Impossible doesn't mean very difficult. Very difficult is winning the Nobel Prize. Impossible is eating the sun. You're too cool for us, Lou. We'll never be as cool as you are. Never. So let that be a lesson to game developers. Don't call your difficulty impossible unless it's actually impossible. <laughs> Very difficult is winning the Nobel Prize. Impossible is eating the sun. Rest in peace, Lou Reed. So now we'll actually play the game on normal difficulty. And it's interesting to note that on normal difficulty, you can't actually die. There's no game overs. It either ends when you reach the end or you give up because you get stuck and you can't figure out what to do next. Although I don't think you can, like, lock the game into an unwinnable position. You just kind of wander around trying to figure out what to do, but we'll see how much I remember. All right, now I can start the timer. And now for tonight's feature story. Those wildly popular Las Vegas magicians, Stink Bomb and Rot, have announced conclusively that magic actually exists and they themselves possess real magical powers. 
The dazzling duo plans to prove its claim at the forthcoming Stink Bomb and Rot show, which will take place in their opulent Las Vegas mansion, the Bengal Palace. Known for their extravagant showmanship and their ability to capture and tame endangered species, Stink Bomb and Rot have been partners since their early days as street performers in their hometown of Newark, New Jersey. Traveling to Europe, the presidigitory pair spent time at the legendary Fliegen de Hasse Circus, where they honed their performing skills and their unrecognizable accents. In addition to the Las Vegas <laughs> spectacle, other magical luminaries, the great Escapo and Belluno, both avowed Stink Bomb and Rot followers, will demonstrate their own powers in New York City and at Harry's Midwest Carnival. Numerous Stink Bomb and Rot followers, fellow magic practitioners, and other show business supporters are expected to be out in force to stir up excitement for the big That's show. Reading. The public is encouraged to lend their support by donating generously to the Stink Bomb and Rot cause. In the words of Stink Bomb and Rot, magic is all around us. Only we can show you that it is real. Its time has come. Nah. Yeah, I wonder who they're making fun of. Stink Bomb and Rot. It kind of seems in bad taste now after, uh, you know, Roy's uh, tiger got torn open by a tiger, but... Roy's throat got open, but... Did I say tiger got thrown up? Whatever. Anyway, so here's the game. From the very beginning, there's a uh, there's a bazooka on the on the streets, which you can actually pick up and put in your inventory. Wait, maybe only Teller can use it. You got a bazooka, but you can't actually use it because you need ammo for the bazooka. Anyway, you can talk to people. Uh, <laughs> Pen and Teller. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to laugh. You punks don't stand a chance against the mighty stink bomb and rot. They're sending their best and brightest magical underlings after you, and they'll use every last abracadabra to finish you off. Every last abracadabra. You don't get much out of talking to most of these people, but we'll you do it anyway. You have to stink bomb and rot. Keep magic alive. <laughs> yeah. So here we have our first enemy of the game. These, uh... These magic girls show up a lot, and they have, uh... They summon doves that attack you. And you couldn't really see it because he was hiding behind that street, street post, but... Uh, Penn's main means of attack is to flick cards right in people's faces. Anyway, let's go into Tom's Bakery here. Wait, do you actually start off the game with money? I don't remember if you do. Oh, you start off with $1,000. Okay. That's good. Well, well, if I'd known you were coming, I would have baked a cake, and I did. Where have you been? I've had this birthday special ready for hours. No one ever picked it up. You can have it cheap. What do you say? So most of the shopkeepers in this game are played by uh, Deborah Harry. Uh, apparently she and Penn were an item at the time, and so she shows up a lot in the game. Anyway, you can actually buy a cake here. It doesn't really... I don't think it matters which, which cake you buy. Either way, the cake doesn't come into play until, like, much later in the game, I think. Wait, did I buy multiple cakes? I think I did. Yeah, whatever. I'll have enough money for later. But, yeah, these loading times. I could just, uh, speed them up a bit, but... Anyway, more playing cards to the face. So you don't actually have a life bar. Your life bar of sorts is the, uh, the cockroach meter at the top. When you pick up enough cockroaches, you actually, uh, you actually get money out of it. It's your means of making money in this game. Yep. I've been a sprite for, well, let's see now, coming up on 12 years. I've seen game systems come and go, characters hot one day, cold as ice the next. Can't say I really understand what's going on in this game, but a job's a job. Job's a job. Actually talk to this guy. Get out of my face. Yo! So sometimes you talk to people who are who are real assholes, 
And if you do that, Pen gets pissed off and cracks the screen. And that crack will stay there for the rest of the game until... Perhaps you've wondered where characters like us go when we walk off screen. I wish I could tell you, but I can't. I've been sworn to secrecy by the makers of this game. Wait, is it not going to do it now? I'm delighted Stink Bomb and Rot are going to be given their due at the Wax Museum. It's about time this city honored persons of real greatness. Why does he have different like dialogue? That Statue of Liberty, for instance. I mean, really. She's not even an actual person. Look, I need to get rid of this crack on the screen. An ode to the cellular phone. Whether I'm out on the road, driving, or on Why the does commode, have so much dialogue? hiking in the hills, at the office, up to my gills. It really doesn't matter, you see. I'm always reachable. Call me for tea when I've got my cellular phone on me. I've never even heard that one before. <laughs> An ode to the okay. Alright, am I actually going to be able to get rid of the screen crack from talking to that guy again? Or am, am I stuck? Or do I got to find another asshole? I don't have time for you. There we go. Nope, I can't get rid of uh, the crack on the screen now. That's great. Alright, well, the crack on the screen is going to stay there until I find another, another disagreeable person. Alright, so, you can't do anything in Pops just yet. They sell popcorn there, but you can't buy any, for whatever reason. It might be Billy West, I don't know. Alright, can I actually... Oh, I can't talk to him. Yeah, I watched Submall stream Panic a, a while back. That was, that was pretty entertaining. Oh, there's Deborah Harry again. Congratulations. You've just entered Debbie's celebrity shop, home of the thousand stars. If you're looking for a Lou Reed autograph, tough. You're going to have to give me some other autographs of value. And you don't have anything right now that even comes close. Maybe if you come back with a few, I don't know, pen and tellers, we could talk. So this is a, a really confusing thing. She'll give you a Lou Reed autograph, but you have to give her several Penn and Teller autographs. Now you would think, you know, being Penn and Teller, you could just write a bunch of autographs and then give them to her, but... No, the way you'd have to do that is a little more complicated. And that's not going to come into play until, uh, until much later in the game. Alright, how many... Uh... I can't even talk to her. All right, those uh, those things that fall, they uh, if you get trapped inside it, you have to get chainsawed out, and you lose a bunch of uh, of your cockroaches. All right, that's a dead end. So let's go into the the alleyway. I think there's an item here that you need. Sometimes alleyways are dead ends that have items. Other times they're they take you to another area. Is it right here? Oh, you can barely see it, but there's an umbrella right there. There we go. You actually... Oh. Wow, Teller! We just picked up a rare Newfoundland backwalker, Cockroach! A world-famous entomologist wants to buy it and release the rest of our collection back into the wild. Why cockroaches? Because when you pick up a certain number of cockroaches, you end up cashing in, and you make money selling your cockroaches to people. And that uh, that's pretty much your means of, of getting money in this game. Except each time it takes uh, it takes more and more cockroaches to to get the bonus money. I got like what fifty dollars from those that first batch of cockroaches. It goes up over time. Anyway, now that I'm out of cockroaches, I'm gonna get caught by this thing just to show it. Oh, this might be loud. Ow. 
But that's not death. You just lose 10 cockroaches. Either way, it's not a good idea to get caught by them. But like I said, you can't actually, uh... You can't actually game over or actually die in this game on normal difficulty, so... Not a problem. Also, you move way faster by jumping than, than walking, so... I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time doing these goofy jumps. Because even if you get hit by enemies now, if you have zero cockroaches, it's not really gonna do anything to you. Alright, this guy tosses rabbits. Sometimes he tosses out a brown rabbit. The, the white rabbits can hurt you. The brown rabbits you can actually pick up, which are actually needed for later on in the game. Like, there's a lot of things you have to keep track of. <laughs> Pen and teller. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to laugh. You punks don't stand a chance against the mighty stink bomb and rot. They're sending their best and brightest magical underlings after you, and they'll use every last abracadabra to finish you off! Oh, not a problem, King Vidiot. I, uh, I appreciate the, the fun facts. Not a problem. Alright. Yep, I've been a sprite for, well, let's see now, coming guy. up on 12 years. Let's speed that up. Alright. Alright, what does the novelty shop sell? Bunch of fake stuff you can't buy. I think this uh, shop opens up later on in the game. Can't exactly remember. Alright, zooms. I believe this is the... Uh... Oh no, this is uh, the building you come out of when you fast travel, I think. Yeah, you can't do anything with this building. This is like where you come out of if you uh, if you have to come back to New York. Because you are going to have to start traveling between different locales to to get items, give items to people, etc., etc. So they have a, a sort of travel system in the game, which I'll explain when we come to it. All right, we'll try to oh shit, try to avoid taking hits. Just to, just to get more more cockroaches, more money. Alright, can't talk to that guy. Pen and Teller get killed. Pen shows daily. Alright, these guys. These guys are annoying. Because you can't... Uh, you can't hit them with cards. So, what you have to do... Pick a card. Pick a card. You switch from your deck of cards to the Joker card. Which else you do card. this. Hey, look! You distract him and then toss him uh, over over Teller. That's how you have to get by him. Like, the guy doesn't pose any threat to you otherwise, but you have to do that every time one of those guys show up, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, there's uh, some three-card money going on over here. Hey, Skippy! Wake up! Don't they have a chapter in your little handbook on common sense? The game is fixed, rigged, and gapped. No one ever beats it. Ever. Sirs! You have saved me from being fleeced out of my last dollar! On my honor as a youth ranger, with a special citation in fire building, I am at your service and will wait at your magic shop until the time comes that you need my fire building ranger expertise! Feel free to call upon me at any time! That guy looks kind of familiar. Also, thanks Abs Nerdity for the host. I can't talk to that woman. So we saved a, a youth ranger from from losing all his money. And he's very skilled in fire building, which obviously is going to come in handy later on in the game. Get out of my face! Yo! Alright, there we go. That causes the other crack on the screen, and then you lose all your cockroaches. At least I got rid of that. That can't be Teller. Teller never speaks. I refuse to believe that. Alright, what's inside this building?
Absolutely nothing, because they're out of business. Again, I think this is a store that opens up later on in the game. Spoilers. Or I could be thinking of one of the other ones. <laughs> the Marky Mark games. Alright, is there anything over here? I can't remember. To let... The Book Nook. New York Knockers. Nope, another one of these guys. Hey, look! The unblockable setups. Boom. Debbie's Travels. Like I said, a lot of the a lot of the shopkeepers in this game are all played by Deborah Harry. Also, special Dallas rates, Debbie, Dallas. Get it? Welcome to Debbie's Travels. No, the others only look like me. I'm the original Debbie. They're my cousins. It's a family business. Can I help you? My partner and I are looking to take a trip to Vegas. You and everybody else. That stink bomb in Racho is really packing them in. Every flight is booked solid. There's nothing available right now. We'd settle for middle seats. Or at least Teller would. Sorry, I'm a travel agent, not a magician. I can't make a couple of seats appear out of thin air. How about you, Teller? Do, do you know that trick? Can we learn it? So Vegas is like the, uh, the end area of the game, but obviously you can't go there immediately. Got to do some other things first. All right, another dead end here. I can't go any further. So there was one alley I skipped. That alley actually takes you to the the second half of the the hey, New York whoa. area. Boom. Oh, brown rabbit. Yeah, she didn't do a very good job on her on her line readings. Maybe she's maybe she was trying to be bored. I don't know. Who's to say? Oop, go in there. Sometimes you have to wait for Teller to catch up to where you're standing before you can walk into one of those alleys, which is kind of annoying. Alright, there's a device right here, which... You can turn it on with the deck of cards. And then... Can you actually do it right now? Okay, switch to Teller. Teller holds the rabbits for some reason. Nope, I fucked it up. You toss a rabbit into the into the chipper, and a token pops out. Yeah. I think you have to pick up like six tokens in that uh Guard. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Oh, this isn't the alley I'm supposed to go into. Oh, I completely skipped another alley. I'm getting lost already, and it's the first area. <laughs> yeah. It's a video game, guys. No animals were harmed in the making of this game. I really wish you could just uh, fast switch between items so you didn't have to go back to the menu and select the Joker card just to trip this guy over. Like That does get kind of annoying. I'm losing all my cockroaches. Alright, here's the way I was supposed to go. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, Teller's getting ahead of me now. Like I said, most of the game you just want to stay as Pen because it's... He actually has that fast jump. Plus he can actually use the deck of cards to, to hit enemies. I don't... I don't think Teller can do that. No, he just has the... No, Teller has a different kind of Joker card. What's up, man? Oops. I meant to do the... 
the actual deck of cards. So basically, there's a second half to this, uh, to the New York area. I'm gonna go this way first. The hardware store here. Which actually has some things you can buy. Phone batteries for $100 and a, and a nail gun for $100,000. Knock off that racket. Why, if I had a hammer, I'd... This is Debbie's hardware. You two guys look like you've never even changed the light bulb. Are you sure you don't want a barber shop? All right, what I'm going to do here is buy a few phone batteries. Gee, thanks. Be careful. Don't hurt yourselves. I don't even have the, uh, the cell phone yet, but... It does, uh... You do end up picking up a little bit later. And the cell phone really sucks because you can only call one person before you have to switch batteries. And for some reason, you can only buy one battery at a time. You have to go in, buy the battery, come out, buy another battery. And I do want to buy a couple to, to show Not something off. That racket. Why, if I had a hammer, All right, I'm just going to speed this up. I think three is fine for now. Yeah, it is kind of kind of like Takeshi's Challenge, except uh, you can't actually die in this game, so. Alright, I hope I'm close to, to getting more money from picking up cockroaches. I forget how many you need for the next number. Like, you needed 23 for the first one, which only gave you, like, $50. There are some spots where cockroaches keep respawning, so you can kind of build up infinite money that way if you really cared enough to keep building up money, but... There's not too many things you can actually buy in this game, so. Oh, Tell him, man, this is great, great. There's a national cockroach shortage, and a Cockroach. major construction corporation sent us a check for all of ours. All right, that's good. So, took all my cockroaches away, so now I don't have to worry about taking hits. All right, that's another dead end. So, let's go into this alley that's connected to the, uh, there's a wax museum over here. This alley connects to the wax, wax museum, but unfortunately we can't really go into it yet. That seems to be the common theme of this game. You find places that have something interesting you can do later. Like, you just find this guy jamming out. Another guy who looks kind of familiar. Wait, can I actually talk to him? There we go. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, yo! Sorry, guys, we're, we're closed for renovation. They're melting down all the statues to make one big giant stink bomb and rot sculpture that's going to take up the entire building. <laughs> that's too bad. We love good old Stinky and the little Rotmeister, too. I didn't know Rita Head was an option. Huh. <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, I'm sure I could do you, it. You heard what I said. Nobody gets in the building until the grand reopening. Now, now leave me alone, okay? I'm working. <laughs> so, you like music, huh? <laughs> so do we. Isn't that right, Teller? Oh, music. We love music. No, I hate music. There's only one person I listen to. Lou. Lou Reed. He rules, man. Except no substitutions. So, can you keep it down, please? You're loud. That's what you are. You're loud. Okay? Well, it just so uh, happens that Teller and I are very good friends with Lou. In fact, uh, Lou and I go to the same ophthalmologist. Really? You're kidding. You actually know Lou? Oh. Wow! I am his biggest fan. I, I never met him, but... You know, if I could get his autograph... Oh, man, I, I, I get his autograph, I'd owe you guys, big time. Mm. <laughs> hmm? 
Oh, I think we'll be able to manage that. No problem. Piece of cake. Almost done. Don't you tell her? Oh, sure, sure. No problem. We'll be right back. So long. <laughs> so where the heck are we going to find a Lou Reed autograph at this time of the day, huh? Oh. <laughs> so you can kind of see the puzzle here. You have to... You have to get a Lou Reed autograph from the the autograph store, but to get the Lou Reed autograph, you have to give you have to give Debbie several Penn and Teller autographs. But we haven't obtained a single Penn and Teller autograph, so again, this is another area that's uh, totally off limits right now. All right, I need this guy to drop more more of the. Oh, never mind, I killed him. Still need more of those brown rabbits to to toss into the chipper for tokens. Although you don't need to you don't need the tokens yet. I don't think you need the tokens until you arrive in Vegas, so that's a ways into the game. So let's go back the way we came. Alright, that was the alley I came out of. Just keep jumping. down. Oh, another of these guys. Yeah, you have to obtain your own autographs. I think you can get the first one coming up here. Or at least not, not right here, but pretty close. Oh, here's a pet store. Gotta go into every building to see what it is. And inside the pet store... A bunch of cats have somehow uh, taken over the building. I'm just going to turn around and forget I saw anything. There's also a giant picture of a cat on the wall. Alright, there's another alleyway. Which I think... Hmm, I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Wait, actually, let me check my notes. Oh shit, another bird came out. Sometimes the birds come out after those those girls disappear. Which is really annoying. Wait, is that where it came from? No, it's not. Okay, never mind. It's a meat shop. Buy some meat. And nobody's running the shop, so... Can't buy anything! Like I said, it's a common theme with this game. You just come into these buildings, they... They either don't have anybody there, or they don't have anything you can buy. Kind of confusing. So here's one of the guys you do have to talk to. Hey, aren't, aren't you Tan and Pella? I mean, oh, gee, I am so nervous. I, I am such a big fan. Could, could, could I have your autograph? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our fans. Oh, tell her sign first. It'll be a collector's item. There you go, and keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. <laughs> so now this, uh, this guy has an autograph. But we got to take the autograph back from him and be, I guess, be complete assholes and steal the autograph. So the way you do this, you have to switch over to Teller. Because Teller has his own form of the Joker card. And you use his Joker card in front of this guy. Which Teller takes off his arm. And then you regain control of Pen. Move behind him, press the B button. It makes a noise. And now you have the autograph in your inventory. That's that's a real roundabout way to obtain autographs in this game, but... Yeah, basically anytime you see this guy in the baseball cap, you gotta get an autograph from him. Or you gotta... You gotta sign an autograph for him, and then steal it back. This game is weird. Alright. Back to the deck of cards. did I figure out this game? I got I got some help from uh, from forums, but nobody had really finished it. Let's 
Guy does not want to drop the brown rabbits. All right, so there was only one more alley that I hadn't gone into yet. This alley actually contains a, a doorway to the first boss, but the... I say boss in, in quotes. Also, there's a cell phone on the ground. Yoink. This door won't be open unless you have the umbrella, because you actually need the umbrella to, to fight the first boss. Oop, I'm trying to get the last cockroach. There we go. Alright, here we go. The first boss of the game. The Great Escapo. The Great Escapo tosses straight jackets at you, which you have to bounce back with, uh, with your umbrella. If you get caught by the umbrella, you just get stuck for a little bit, and you lose a cockroach or two. Like I said, you can't actually die in this game. Also, you have to be, like... You have to do this from just the right angle, or else... Fuck. Come on. There we go, that's one. I think you have to catch him three times? Three is usually a good number. There we go. And then jump up here. Oh right, you gotta do the... You gotta do the Joker card again. Use the teller assist. Hey, look. And then... Hmm. Not bad, Teller. I'd give him an 8.5. His form was good, but things were a little messy at the contact point. <sighs> He's fucking dead. And then this guy comes out. Oh. I! <laughs> I've had clients go off the deep end before, but this is ridiculous. Well, he wasn't very good anyway. But you guys, you guys, I can make stars, big stars. I want you to take this travel voucher for Escapo's next gig at the big carnival, trade it in for bus tickets, and get over there as fast as you can. <laughs> so we murdered a guy just to get a ticket to the carnival. Sounds legit. So now we gotta backtrack all the way back to uh, the travel agency. Because I think that takes you to the, the carnival. But first, but first, we have a cell phone now. Let's call somebody. Oops. Nope, wrong. Nope. Tell her to put that away. Wait, how do I... Can I actually switch that back over to... Um... There we go. Dan's dangerous doppelgangers. You've got the budget, we've got the gag. Gag? Yes, sir. You mean, you mean like jokes? Nope. I mean vaults, falls, <laughs> fires, full and partial, car work, horse work, cycle work. You fix cars? Stunts. We do stunts. You know, when some overpriced Hollywood TV or movie star is too chicken, out of shape, or too much of a prima donna wimpy wuss to jump or fight or get set on fire, they call us and the doubles do the work. Tell her I, I think we found our peer group. Do you guys uh, do work in video games? Sure. Same rates. Daily fee goes up each time you call the guys in. Great. Uh, we're Penn and Teller, and we'll take two. We'll send Dan for Penn and Biff for Teller. Uh, listen, uh, we don't want our fans to know that we don't do our own stunt work, okay? It's, a, it's this little macho image we've been working on for a while. So, uh, will the doubles look like us? It's, it's, it's real important that they do. Like they're your birth twins. Trust us. No one ever notices stunt doubles.
I'll raise the audio a bit. Gentlemen, I am Dan, and I will be Mr. Penn's stunt double for this game. That is Biff. He will be stepping in for Mr. Taylor. As you can see, we look exactly like you. Just call us at your magic shop when you need us. We charge on a case-by-case -case basis. The audio in this game is, like, kind of all over the place. Anyway. Uh, oops. Getting fucking owned by this bunny. So anyway, what, what, oops. Again, I picked the wrong thing. So what happened there is that we now have stunt doubles. Which we can use to, uh, do some stunts. Does that sound like a fun thing to do? Call some stunt doubles? Should we do that? You know what? Fuck it. Let's use our stunt doubles. Yeah, hello. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, Mobile <laughs> Magic, Biff speaking. That's a good sight gag. Sure thing, Mr. Penn. We can do that. Yeah, that too. No problem. You bet. Oh, yeah. So now Penn and Teller are replaced with their stunt doubles. They can punch. They got a slide kick. They can jump kick. Yeah. So you're invincible to enemies in this mode, but the problem is you can't pick up cockroaches. You can't talk to people. You can walk through that guy. Oh yeah, they got roundhouse kicks. Nice. But yeah, they're completely invincible, but at the same time, they're completely pointless because you can't really do anything. And as far as I know, there's no point in the game where you have to you have to call them. It's like completely optional. I guess it's just there if you wanna kick the shit out of some girls. I don't know. And some doves. Alright. Now that's the alleyway that I think takes us back to the other part of the level which we need to go to, but they can't actually go in, so. I think we gotta say uh, say goodbye to Dan and Biff. And so, here comes the best part. When you're done uh, selecting Dan and Biff, you just push start, and you get treated to this. This is completely unskippable. Enjoy. <laughs> An unskippable minute long cutscene of them chowing down on pizza with lots of smacking noises. Yeah. I should have I should have lowered the audio back uh before I did that. <laughs> this is a video game. This is a video game that exists. <laughs> DSP Tracer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh shit, no, no, I picked the wrong thing. No, I fucking yeah, hello. Oh, uh, yeah, more for magic. Thought I had the deck of cards speaking. equipped. Sure thing, Mr. That's gonna Pen. cost me we money too. That. Yeah, that too. No problem. You bet. Oh, that was that was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right. Luckily, I got a speed up button. So let's just uh 
get to the park. I didn't pass the travel agency, did I? Or is it back the other way? I think I might have gone the wrong way, even. Music though, it's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Alright, since I fucked up, minute long pizza break. <laughs> New stream outro. <laughs> okay. This time I'm going to remember. Switch over to the deck of cards. Alright, do I actually have to equip the... Welcome to Debbie's Travels. No, the others only look like me. I'm the original Debbie. They're my cousins. It's a family business. Can I help you? I guess I do have to equip it. Fuck. Welcome to Debbie's Travels. No, Wait. the others only look like me. I'm the original Debbie. They're my cousins. It's a family business. Can I help you? Yeah, okay. we have a uh, voucher right here. Two bus tickets to the big carnival, please. It's a really big, huge, humongous, big carnival, and we have a voucher right here. Just one moment, Mr. Uh... <laughs> pan. Call me Pan. A pen! A pen! I need a, uh, a pen to, uh, to sign the voucher. <laughs> me, uh, I'm Escapo. Mr. T.G. Escapo, and this is my sidekick, Escapo Jr. All right, Mr. Escapo. Everything seems to be in order. Have a nice trip. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Okay, Junior? All set? Do you need to... before we go? It's a, it's a long ride through that desert. It's a long ride through the desert, remember? Desert bus? No, you don't actually have to play desert bus, thank God. Well, here we go, we're at the we're at the carnival. New background. New stuff to do. So I think the first thing you have to do. Wait, you have to go to the left? Remember when they murdered Escapo? That was pretty good. He's fucking dead. Okay, I. I sort of forget this part. Oh, there's another guy to get an autograph from. We're gonna do that. Hey, aren't, aren't you Tannen Pella? I mean, oh gee, I am so nervous. I, I am such a big fan. Could, could, could I have your autograph? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our fans. Oh, tell her sign. No, we're not at Vegas yet. This is just Lucky. a carnival. There you go, and keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. There's basically three areas in the game. New York, Carnival, and Las Vegas, so... They don't really tell you where exactly, uh, the Carnival is, but... Alright, I need to... I just got the jumping card. Get the autograph. 
Mac back. Mame Roulette is finished forever. I played every Mame game. No, I'm kidding. Mame Roulette only happens on Mondays. And I'm an excellent reader. Try me. Let me guess your age for one hundred lousy dollars. But hurry up. You're not getting any younger. And I'm getting older just waiting for you. Hundred dollars? Alright. Unfortunately, we don't have what, uh, what we need to fool him. He is going to guess our age and we're not going to win a prize from him, so... Yo, yo! Where do you two rubes think you're going? You think you can just waltz in here like you own the place? Alright, well we can't go there yet. So I think I'm supposed to go in the tent over here. Okay, there's... Going to the left, tap two, tap one. Okay, wait, no, this is the wrong one. Wrong tent! <laughs> There's nothing in that tent. I think that's like a, a fast travel tent that you come out of if you are coming from another area. Back this way? Oop. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back with that. Oh, please, please don't speak to me. I'm, I'm really very shy. It's my beard, you see. It's so limp and unmanageable. I've tried everything, but nothing seems to work. I'm, I'm so embarrassed by it. Oh, I'd be forever grateful to anyone who can help me. Can't have a carnival without a bearded lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't contain myself. Stunt doubles are simply the most glorious luxury one can purchase. I have several myself. They attend social functions with my husband and spend time with my children. My life is just much too busy. I'm so glad I'm wealthy enough to be able to afford them. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling I missed something. There was like one person I was supposed to talk to and... Is he in here? No. This is the part of the game where I start to get lost. Oh, this guy. Uh, I'm so depressed. I don't think I can do the next show. Let me tell you why. Oh, uh, Lydia, the bearded lady. I'm quite smitten with her, you see. But I just don't know how she feels about me. She doesn't seem to know that I'm alive. I even put a name over my heart, but she doesn't go for that jive. Perhaps I should give her a token of my esteem. I'd like to write a song or a great symphony, but you see, I have no natural aptitude for popular music. I guess I should just get her something. <laughs> oh, I, I realized what I forgot. I think I was supposed to talk to that guy in the other one. But yeah, that guy's in, in love with the bearded lady. But you have to... You have to find an item to make them fall in love. Well, well, if it isn't Pan and Teller, the so-called bad boys of magic. How dare you two frauds besmirch the reputations of our beloved stink farm and rot. Why, if you saw them perform live and in person, you'd be singing a completely different tune, yes siree, Bob. But you can't. I got the last two tickets out of here to the big show in Vegas, right here in my hot little hands. And I wouldn't sell them if someone offered me a million bucks. 
So he's got tickets to Vegas. How are we going to get those tickets from Vegas? The same way you get an autograph. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, well, maybe you're supposed to trip him. Okay, uh, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. And then that automatically gives you the, uh, the plane ticket to Vegas, so... Just like that, you can also automatically go to Vegas now, which is basically the final area of the game, but you do have to come back to the carnival for, uh, for other things. It's gonna be a lot of backtracking. Back and forth, back and forth. That's pretty much what gave me the idea to to finally do a stream of this, because it was happening the same time as Desert Buzz for Hope. I'm like, oh yeah, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. I should, I should totally do a stream of that. Okay, I need the uh, cards. Okay, so there's a... Yo, yo, Teller! Yo, the yo, local teller. zoo's reptile house wants to buy all our cockroaches to feed its starving gecko population. Oh, we got some more money out of that. So how do you get back to New York, you might ask? Ooh, hot dog. You know, Teller, the unmistakable smell of meat byproducts sure does give me a hankering for the Big Apple. <laughs> what do you say? Want to go to New Jack? So yeah, you go to a... Uh, hot dogs make you think of Vegas, so... This is basically your fast travel back to, uh, back to Las Vegas. <laughs> sure, whatever works. Anyway, we have the, the plane tickets to Vegas, so it's back to back to Debbie's travels. Okay, I think I know where I am. Oops, sorry. I may have misspoke. My apologies. I'm try trying to read my notes while I, hey, I play this. <laughs> Just trying to remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go. So I think this way went back to uh, to Debbie's travels. Yeah. I'm getting clipped by the bird. Alright, fuck it, I'm out of cockroaches. Speed strats. This guy still needs to drop some more of the, uh, the brown rabbits. Which I think you just do by killing the white rabbits. Still need, like, six of them. Are you gonna drop any? I guess not. Oh, hey, thanks, Wolf. Alright. Hey, look! There we go. Alright, so equip the, the plane tickets. Talk to Debbie. It's kind of weird they give you the the plane tickets like so soon after you arrive at the carnival, but welcome to Debbie's travels. You're not at the end no, of the game yet. The others only look like me. I'm the original Debbie. They're my cousins. It's a family business. Can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I've got a receipt right here. A receipt for two. Count them two plane tickets to Las Vegas, Nevada. Why? Whatever do you mean? They're not plain at all. They're they're red and blue with black letters all over them. 
I guess you've been working on a routine since the last time we were here, huh? <laughs> okay, you killed me. Oh, Tella thinks you're a riot. Let's let's have the tickets. <laughs> Funny. Funny. All right. This is exactly what Las Vegas looks like, right? All right so I gotta keep an eye out for any any of those guys with the, the backwards baseball caps. Since you do still need more autographs to enter that wax museum. Oh shit, blind magicians. So it's not immediately obvious, but you see that arrow at the, the top of the screen? That marks an alternate path that you have to go in. It is, it's actually very easy to get lost in this area, though. Or Vegas, I mean. It's, it's a lot bigger than like the other areas in the game. Okay. Did I go wrong? No. You can barely see that doorway. Okay, go to the left and into the next door. Another room, another door. I'm so glad I took these notes. Or else I'd just be wandering around like an idiot. Okay, one more. One more room, there's another hallway. Oh shit, it's a tiger! The tiger can't actually, uh fight you, so. Well, you're in luck, Macaw. I'm trying to go through the entire game, so. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that stream. Alright. I think there's some guy I'm supposed to talk to over here. This guy. No de lo quibili latine? What? I don't understand a thing you're saying. This is America, Poindexter. Speak American. <laughs> so the trick here is that Penn can't talk to this guy. You have to you have to start with Teller to initiate the conversation. Ah, no de lo quibili latine? Quaiso dicite lenitere, linguarum mortuarum invenire gaudio amicum, utinam tecum loquer totum per diem, sed magna cum voce gigans me trepidum facit. Maurice sum, olim in hoc theatro notus nomine Blockhead Bill. Nomen decains meum capietis auxilium tabernaculi custodum, quondam libertinus inter eos eram. So, what do you say, Taylor, huh? We should tell the tent attendant Maurice sent us? That's it? That's all he said? Gee, it's kind of a long-winded language, isn't it? They, they use a lot of words and they don't say very much. So basically what that did is gave you a password, Maurice, that you have to use uh, back in the carnival on that one entrance that you couldn't go into because you needed a password. So that means a lot of backtracking. Alright, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? I go this way? That's a dead end. Wait, is there supposed to some guy I'm supposed to talk to?
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking backtrack. Oh boy. Ah, boy. This is gonna take a while. I'm doing okay, JLT. How are you doing? God, there were like five doorways here. How long is a playthrough of this? I I don't remember how long it took me to finish it the first time, so... Technically, this is the final area, but there's, like, so many things you have to backtrack for. Like, it's got to be under three hours. Some point under three hours. That's kind of why I have the timer there, to, to see how long it takes. Especially since I have to... Even with these notes, I'm trying to remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to talk to that guy? Make a donation. Donation, please. There's still time to pledge your allegiance to Stink Bomb and Rot. There's magic in the world. Let Stink Bomb and Rot show you. There's some guy I'm supposed to talk to. Okay, wait. Um... No. So is this where I came from? This, uh, this one doorway up here? You can actually go up there, it's not not immediately obvious, but Alright, this guy's still not releasing any, any of the brown rabbits. There's one. I need like five more of those. Four more of those. Good story, bro. On here. Wait, no, I'm supposed to go in this doorway. I didn't even have to do that. Okay, let's try this. Oh, this guy. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Hey, are you guys here for the big show too? Well, I'm lost. This mansion is huge. Maybe you can help me find my way. I'll say you're lost. If you're here to see those two frauds, you're, you're way past your exit, pal. What do you mean? They do magic. It really exists. I've seen it. They make tigers disappear. They made your cash disappear, son, and any bit of smart you might have had along with it. Listen, you don't have to wait for the show. We can do some magic for you right now. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> it was great. I've never seen magic so close up before. You guys must have special powers, too, just like Stink Bomb and Rot. Yeah, we've got special powers, all right. The power to make saps like you believe that we have special powers. It's called lying. We're good at it. So are Stink Bomb and Rot. The difference is we admit it. Tell her palmed your old hat and gave you a new one. It's a trick. Wise up. Those phonies, those crooks. Darn that stink bomb and rot. And to think I donated my life savings to them. Darn it. 
how could I have been so stupid? From now on, I'm Penn and Teller fan through and through. You guys are so cool. Yeah. Can I uh, have your your your, your, your autograph? <laughs> oh sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our. Fans. And it becomes oh, another oh, autograph seeker. First, it'll be a collector's item. There you go, and keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. So you get to do all that, and then steal the autograph back from him, just like you've stolen autographs back from everybody else. All right. Switch over to Teller. Hey, get back here, dude. All right. So now we have like three autographs, I think. And he was guarding a doorway to more shit. And I think this is supposed to take me back to... Nope. Alright, skip all these people. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Hot dogs. Mmm. Hot dog. You know, Teller, that unmistakable smell of meat byproduct sure does give me a hankering for the Big Apple. <laughs> what do you say? Want to go to New Jack? All right. Back to New York once again. Yeah, I think this came out in, or was supposed to come out in 95. It's either 94 or 95. Alright, so back in New York. Now what you have to do, it's not immediately obvious, but if you go into At Amkey Novelty, they actually have a, uh, a new item in stock there that wasn't there before. I don't think they, uh, they added it until you go to the carnival. Now you can buy a fake ID there. Hey, hey, keep it down, boys. Keep it down. You'll wake the dead. And if there's five things I don't want to see coming through that door, it's my five late husbands. Ha! Welcome to Debbie's Novelties. I got a million of them gags, that is, not husbands. What can I do you for? Do I even have enough money for the fake ID? Muchas gracias, senor. Satisfaction guaranteed, or I get my money back. Whoa, gotcha. Oh, slow down, Debbie. All right, how much money do I have left? Thirty dollars! Wow, I barely had enough. So you buy the fake ID there. Now, what do you think the fake ID is used for? All right, what I'm going to do here, I think there's a... Yeah, infinite cockroach loop. I'm going to do this just to make some money back. Because I am going to need to buy some more cell phone batteries before the end of the game. I don't remember if there's, like, much else you really need to buy other than that. And I forget how many cockroaches you need for the next uh, money milestone. Oops. Yep, farming strats. Every time you get enough uh, cockroaches, it plays a, a different audio clip of you selling your cockroaches to to whoever is willing to buy them. Problem is the number keeps going up, but it does uh, increase like how much uh, how much the cockroaches are worth. Keep responding, girl. Come on. Jesus, how many do I need? There we go. Man, tell her. That Greenfield Gut Crawler Cockroach and the rest of our bugs just got auctioned off for a small fortune.
Okay, how much money did I get from that? Thousand dollars. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, where am I supposed to go now? All right, so I have to go back to the carnival. And you get back to the carnival, you have to go to, uh, you might have forgotten that, but there was a, uh, a building earlier in the game that had a, a popcorn machine and nothing else. Popcorn machine is what takes you back to the carnival, much like hot dogs take you back to, the, to New York, so. I believe it was back this way. In the meantime, I want this guy to drop another brown rabbit, but I don't think he's going to do it. There we go. I'm out of cockroaches, so it doesn't really matter if I take hits now. Alright, there's the bakery. I already bought the cake. Wait, did I go too far? Oh, there's Pops. Whoa, Teller! Suddenly I'm starting to feel a, a little festive, like I want to see a bad clown actor kick up some musty old carnival sawdust. That could mean one thing. Popcorn's a-poppin'! <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Teller? Carnival time? Anyway, I bought that fake ID to, uh, to trick the guy who offers to tell your age for $100. So basically, you can scam the guy by using a fake ID. Alright, so where is he? Did I already talk to this guy? Okay, yeah, I got his autograph. Uh, okay, where's the fake ID? Listen up, listen up. Every face tells a story, and I'm an excellent reader. Try me. Let me guess your age for one hundred lousy dollars. But hurry up. You're not getting any younger, and I'm getting older just waiting for you. Alright, so I have the fake ID. Wait, no, I don't have the fake ID clipped. Oh, Teller has to have the fake ID clipped. Back, color. There we go. Wait. How do I? How do I initiate the conversation? Do I have to? Yeah. Wait. I have to. Okay, that's the password. There we go. <laughs> Child's play, Monsieur. Forty-six, two score and a half a dozen years. Even with those boyish good looks of yours, the truth is written all over your moon-shaped forehead. Seventy-two? You're seventy-two? Listen, buddy, if you have some time, I'd like to hear what your secret is. You really don't look a day over 46. I think we've got just the prize for you, though, although it may be a little dangerous for someone of your advanced years. It's a nail gun. So by ripping the guy off, you win a nail gun, which uh, which beats paying $100,000 for it at that, at that hardware store at the beginning of the game. So now... Uh... Ken has access to the nail gun, which you're actually going to need to fight the second boss. Yo, yo! Where do you two rubes think you're going? You think you can just waltz in here like you own the place? Yeah. Yeah? Well, save your breath, honey. Our wallets are staying right where they are. We happen to be uh, tight with a certain badly dressed, unintelligible guy named 
Maurice? That name ring a bell in that sideshow addled skull of yours? Wow. Whoa, whoa, hold it right there, gents. Did I hear you correctly? You know Maurice? Well, march yourselves right in. Any friends of Maurice are okay in my book, and my book's not very thick, you know? <gasps> I think it is theoretically possible to just do that cockroach loop, but I think, like, the max it gives you for a money reward is, like, $2,500, which takes, like, 90 cockroaches or something like that, so you'd have to do it for a while. But I don't know. I've never, I've never actually tried to do that. Anyway, this is the, uh, the quote-unquote second boss of the game, Baluno. It's basically a jumping puzzle, because, like, uh, you can use your nail gun to hit the balloon sometimes, but... Most of the time you have to, uh, you have to use Teller, because he actually has a, a slightly higher jump. But Ken's jump goes farther, so you just have to, like, keep switching between the two keep jumping up these platforms. Of course, I'm already at, like, zero cockroaches, so it doesn't matter if I if I take hits from the balloons. Oh, shit. Well, they both have to make the jump. Get them lined up. Tell her, you piece of shit. I need to just do this. Oh, do I have to do a running jump? There we go. Ooh, this is, this is a bad jumping puzzle. At least you can't actually die. That's like the only, uh... The only nice thing about this. Whoa. I think I was falling for a second. Yeah, I think you have infinite nails. Switch to Teller, switch to Pen. Tell her, you piece of shit! Wait, I can't actually... Fuck, I have to drop down. There we go. Yeah, I wish you could just use the stun doubles here, but I don't think you can actually call the stun doubles in the, uh... in bosses. Almost there. There we go. And all you do is use the nail gun to shoot Baluno. Shoot him in his dumb nose. Well, stick a pin in Baluno, Teller. He's done. I suppose I could uh, make a joke here about him being just full of hot air or something, but I think we're a little too good for that, don't you? That was really quiet. I thought I could just fall down right there, but nope. <laughs> Exit. Oh, there's that guy again. Well, there goes another act. You guys are starting to get on my nerves. I lose clients around you like the Titanic lost passengers. I had Baluda booked for the big stink bomb and rock bash. And you're not good enough to replace everybody. Our deal is off! You're back on your own! Okay. Anyway, that opens up another door to another area you couldn't access before the boss. Alright, what's in this area? Now, no falling damage, but even then, like, any damage you take only affects your cockroach stash, and if you have zero cockroaches, you're not going to lose anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'll do another one of these. These guys are just annoying, because you have to go to the menu, hey, look. trip them up. I mean, you get the point after the first one, but... Alright, where am I supposed to go? Let's 
outside this tent. Just some, uh, <laughs> some thick ass belly dancers. I don't think there's anything else in this room. <laughs> Yo, those were totally some running wild girls. Holy shit. Alright, what's inside this tent? Oh shit, okay. Actually, no, I'm not supposed to go here yet. First, I need to go all the way to the left. Hey, look! Oops. Might as well try to build up some cockroaches just in case I need some more money. I am gonna have to buy some more s cell phone batteries after I accidentally use that one on the on the stunt doubles. get bodied by rabbits. Shit. I don't want to drop the brown rabbits. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, there's another guy here you have to get an autograph from. You know the drill by hey, now. Aren't, aren't you Tannin Pella? I mean, oh gee, I am so nervous. I, I am Same such exact a big dialogue. fan. Could, could, could I have your autograph? Oh sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our fans. Oh, tell her sign first. It'll be a collector's item. There you go, and keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Switch over. Oops. Wrong character. Switch over to Teller. Use the Joker card. Back to dude. Steal the autograph. Now we have four autographs. I think you need six. To trade in for a Lee Reed autograph. Where are we getting there? Oh, you can actually switch from there. Okay, what's inside this tent? Is this the. Uh... Nothing but cockroaches inside this tent. I don't think anybody's tried to speedrun this game. This does not seem like a very good speed game. Wait, this takes... Wait, where the fuck am I now? Uh, now I'm really lost. Is there anything else here? No? I guess I had to push up to get out of that. Wow, you can barely even see it. That's some bullshit. Okay, now I have to backtrack. Yeah, this might be world record when I finish. If you want to count it as a world record speedrun. I don't know anybody else that's, that's time to run up this game. From beginning to end. Well, then again, I did use the uh, the speed up option a couple times, so might not count it. All right, is this the? Yeah, this way. Okay, go to the right. Oh, jeez, carnival's bigger than I thought. Joker card. Okay, what's inside this tent? First tent has a couple cockroaches, nothing else. Into the tent at the end. Okay, 
Okay, there's another one of those uh, those chippers you can stick rabbits into. Hey, oh. Might as well do that while we're here. Wrong way. Turn it off. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so I have three tokens. I still need three more for the end, I think. Yeah, another guy, another autograph seeker. Hey, aren't, aren't you Tan and Pella? I mean, oh gee, I am so nervous. I, I am such a big fan. Could, could, could I have your autograph? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our fans. Oh, tell her sign first. It'll be a collector's item. There you go, and keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to lose it? <laughs> All right, Taylor, do your thing. All right, so now I have... I think you only need one more autograph. But where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. Go to the left anyway. Cats. Oof. Tell her. Did you get, did you get a whiff of that? Ah, stray tabby cats. Nothing else in the world smells like that. Except maybe those pesky tigers that stink bomb and rots. What do you say? Want to go? Well, we don't need to go to Vegas yet. Got to go back to New York first. Yeah, this game's on CD, so it has loading times. Apparently, there's a way to decrease the loading time other than just uh, hitting the speed up button. Which I should probably do more often. But I don't know. Trying to, trying to keep it authentic. That's exactly it, LeBird. Mm. Cats equal Vegas, hot popcorn dog. equals carnival, hot dogs you know, equals Big Apple. Makes sense, right? Meat byproduct sure does give me a hankering for the Big Apple. <laughs> what do you say? Want to go to New Jack? All right, back to back to New York once again. I don't think it's going to be the last time either. Okay, go to the alley on the left. Oh, shit. Maybe I should get some more money while... <laughs> while I'm in that, uh, that infinite cockroach farming spot. I still have, like... Like I said, I don't need... I don't remember, like, how much more money you need for the rest of the game. Like, I could buy some more batteries, but... I think I'm good.
Okay, so for some reason, when you went in this alley earlier, this guy wasn't here. This is actually the last guy you have to talk to to, to get an autograph from. Or give an autograph hey, to and then I take an autograph from. Pen and Pella? I mean, oh, gee, I am so nervous. I, I am such a big fan. Could, could, could I have your autograph? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Anything for one of our fans. Oh, tell her sign first. It'll be a collector's item. There you go. And keep it in a really safe spot. You wouldn't want to lose it. <laughs> wouldn't want to lose it. All right. So there we go. We finally have all six autographs needed to uh, to trade them in for a Lou Reed autograph. So we got to do that now. So the natural order of things is trade in these autographs for a Lou Reed autograph, and then give it to the guy who is guarding the wax museum to get into the wax museum. Although I'm going to need more cell phone batteries before I do that. So I'm gonna have to go back to uh, the hardware store. But I should have enough money. I sure hope I do. Alright, the celebrity shop should be in this half of the level. Here's the popcorn. Oh god, that bird is on a mission. Okay, equip the autographs. Talk to Debbie again. Oh, the Lou Reed boys. Still waiting for the man, hey? <laughs> well, you got, what do you got? Six pen and tellers? All right, you got yourself a deal. It updated that text really fast. <laughs> Alright. Switch over to... the cards. <laughs> yeah, this is not a, a desert bus stream. I wanted to show off another, another part of the game, because everybody, everybody knows the whole desert bus thing. And nobody, nobody really knows much about uh, the actual Smoke and Mirrors game, so that was the point of this stream to try to to try to educate people on what else this game has, because most people who have you know tried the uh, the prototype, they they might have started up this uh, the Smoke and Mirrors mode, but then they get stuck. They can't figure out where to go because this game is is very obtuse in what you have to do. But since I managed to figure it out. I might as well stream it and show it off. Alright, how many rabbits do I have? Okay, I've... I forgot to pick up one of the tokens! Shit. Okay, well I'm gonna need two more rabbits then. <laughs> Fuck. I think I tossed that rabbit into the chipper, and then I forgot to pick up the token. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to farm brown rabbits at some point. Okay. Um. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yeah. There's the novelty shop. Let's pick up some cockroaches. Okay, so where is the hardware store? I think I just have to go to the right for the hardware store. After I come out of the alley. And that's the way to the wax museum anyway. Where the hell did that bird come from? Okay. Knock off that racket. Speed up this shit. It's gonna do this to 
buy a bunch of batteries in case I in case I fuck up the next part because if I remember right, you have to be really precise on when you use your battery. Oh, go in. And like I said, I don't think you need your money for much else at this point, so... Of course, I could just save state. Okay, that's enough. Alright, now to the wax museum. And I think there's a guy that tosses rabbits, like, right in front of the alley, so... I'll be able to farm, uh... Farm rabbits there, if need be. Burgers. Not tossing the brown rabbits. Alright, well, I'll worry about that later. I actually used the nail gun on the Bellino boss. You can't actually, like, see, see the nail gun fire, but... Wait, maybe you can use it on those enemies that, like, uh... Those girls that are tossing flowers at you in the, in the carnival. Anyway. And finally get, get back to this guy. And give him the Lou Reed autograph. Here you go, pal! One Lou Reed autograph, signed, sealed, delivered, it's yours. Oh, Lou was especially touched by your loyalty and asked me to tell you that personally. Wow, you <laughs> came through. Thanks, guys. You and Lou must be really tight. I guess I gotta let you take a sneak peek inside, you being such close pals with my buddy Lou and all and such big stink bomb and rot fans, you go ahead. Go right in. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot the rabbits, but the uh, the deck of cards doesn't have as much room as it looks like it has. Or, it doesn't have as big a hitbox as it looks like it has, so... I'm trying to avoid hitting them so you can actually toss more rabbits out, but you can't actually hit the rabbits unless you're right in their face. <laughs> yeah, he probably wasn't supposed to drop the headphones. Anyway, this next part of the game is pretty good. The Wax Museum. Look, Teller, look. They call this the Magician's Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall of Losers is more like it. Hey, hey, hey. It's a scapo. Nothing can contain him. No chains can hold him. A scapo is shmapo. <laughs> Escape from this, okay? Remember when we fucking killed a scapo? That was pretty good. Anyway, there's nothing to actually do in that room. It's just a montage of the uh, quote-unquote boss battles we fought. Oh! Pluto! Whoa! -ho -ho! Look out, Teller! I'm scared! How about you? Oh! Oh! Watch out! Here he comes! Here he comes! Whoa! Overinflated windbag. That's right. Fuck clowns. <laughs> Scarf and I load of these guys, huh? Fu Ling Yu, Madame Claire de Voyon. Well, we could have beat them too if uh, Absolute had given us a larger memory configuration and we could fit them in the game. And that's pretty funny. Don't know if that's true or not, whether they uh, they plan for more bosses and then rush the game out, but... Really makes you wonder. <laughs> like I said, Teller, losers. Every one of them. Hey! Isn't that us? What are we doing here? Who? Oh, that burns me up. Should burn you up too. Burns me up. So here's a new puzzle. Pen's really burnt up by seeing uh, these replicas of Pen and Teller here. 
He's really burnt up by it. Oh look, there's some lighter fluid over here. We have lighter fluid, but what can we do with the lighter fluid? How are we gonna start a fire with the lighter fluid? Hmm. All right. This this part is really uh, really awkward though. First, you have to. Uh... Okay, how many cell phone batteries did I buy? Six. It is possible to get this on the first try, but basically, you have to use the cell phone. You don't just call the uh, the stunt doubles. You can also call uh, Skippy, the uh, the the ranger we saved from three card money at the beginning of the game, because he's an expert at fire building. So. Skippy here? Ha! Huh. You need me where? You need me when? I'm on my way! So then Skippy comes in, and you have to use the lighter fluid. Like, after he shows up, he'll come to wherever you're walking. And I fucked it up. I think I hit the wrong button. And then he runs off and you have to call him again. And you, it's like you have to be standing in a... In a... Okay, I guess you have to be standing right there in front of the rope. I thought you were supposed to like shoot a fireball or something at it. Maybe not. Alright, gotta call him again. Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna save state this if I... If I run low on batteries. Ha! Huh? You need me where? You need me when? I'm on my way! Because, yeah, you have to, uh, you have to murder Teller here. For this puzzle. So you have to call him on the phone, then switch over to the lighter fluid, and then once he makes the fire... But you have to be standing in, like, just the right spot. Fuck! That wasn't right. I don't remember, like, the exact spot you're supposed to be standing in. That's the hard part. You have to be, like, so precise with this. Uh. Mofo magic! Skippy, Skippy here! Ha! Huh? You need me where? You need me when? I'm on my way! I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. Use the lighter fluid. Why does it never fucking work? Shit. Maybe I'm supposed to use it on- no. I only have like two more batteries. Does he always come from the right? Mofo magic! Skippy here? Ha! Huh? You need me where? You need me when? I'm on my oh, way. you have to duck down and press B. Okay. That's so stupid. See, I shot the fire there, but maybe I have to do it, like, right there. Okay. I'm going to... What is it again? F5. Safe state. Just in case. Ugh! Mofo magic! Skippy here? Ha! Huh? You need me where? You need, need me, me when? when? I'm on my way! All right, maybe you're not supposed to stand in a specific spot. You're supposed to be over here. And then nothing fucking happened. Okay. Maybe I should do it after I call. I should make the save state after I call Skippy. Mofo magic. Yeah, I don't Skippy care if I'm cheating here? with the save states. I'm. Ha! 
You need me when? I'm not going back and buying more batteries. You need me when? I'm on my way. Okay. Let's try this. There we go. Finally. And that drops a, uh, a wax head of pen. All that just to get a, a wax head, which of course is going to come in handy later on. Okay, now what the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay. First of all, I need to get two more rabbits. I'm just gonna have to keep uh, leaving and re-entering until this guy drops enough brown rabbits for the... To feed into the chipper for tokens, because that part is coming up soon. I think it's coming up soon. Thank you. I think it's six tokens. Nice. Pick up one more just for insurance. Cause you do have to time Ugh. You have to time your rabbit toss when the when the chipper opens. And if you toss the rabbit at the, the, the wrong time, the, the rabbit just runs off and you get nothing out of it. Fuck, I thought I was onto something there. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go. So, what are you supposed to do now? Now that you have the head, it's not to, it's not immediately obvious what you're supposed to do. Like you might think, okay, now that I have the head, maybe there's something I'm supposed to do back in in Vegas. But no. The next thing you have to do is uh, is right here in New York, actually. Earlier on this level, there was a uh, there was a meat shop that didn't have like anybody uh, running the running the store. So it turns out that one of the guys we saved in Vegas that had the uh, that we got the autograph from or gave the autograph to and then took the autograph back, the guy who was convinced that Stink Bomb and Rot were the greatest thing ever, and we convinced him that they were full of bullshit. Apparently, he uh, his life's calling is to run run a meat stand, so. Or something like that. Hello, get back here. Oh, I do need money. Wait, no, maybe he gives the money, like, for free. I hope he gives the money for free. Hey, look! Yeah, the loading screens have taken up a lot of time, but that's the uh, that's the Sega CD for you. Okay, there's one more chance to get a rabbit here. Shit, my cockroaches! Here? Here we go. The meat shop.
will tenderize my shank bone. Look what the steers dragged in. Remember me? You showed me the arrow of my ways at Stink Bomb and Rots. I came back to the family business. So, you guys are meat eaters, huh? Yeah, take all you want. The least I can do for you after what you did for me. So, oh, Dad, don't worry. It's cooking burns that right off. So, hey, free meat. The meat goes into Teller's inventory. Okay. I think that's... Oops. I didn't want to talk to him again. Do you get more? Nope. Fuck. Okay, no, it's just a one piece of meat. Anyway, back in Vegas, there was a, uh, a tiger that blocked my path. You have to use meat to get past the tiger. That's what you... Uh, <laughs> that was the whole purpose of that. So, back to Vegas. Where was... Oh, it's over to the right, I think. Ooh, brown rabbit. Yoink. Wait, where was the, uh... Where was the wood chipper? Oh, that was back in the first half of the level. Never mind. All right, back to the pet store. Since you know, cats remind Penn of Vegas. Oof! Tell her. Did you get, did you get a whiff of that? Stray tabby cats. Nothing else in the world smells like that. Except maybe those pesky tigers that stink bomb and rots. What do you say? Want to go? All right. <laughs> Okay, now where the fuck am I? <laughs> okay, apparently I have to go talk to that Maurice guy to get another password first. I think it was all the way over here. Again, I never would have remembered this if I hadn't taken notes. I don't know, th shooting cars into people's faces are your primary means of attack in this game, so. I don't know, they needed, like, some form of an attack, and deck of cards, I guess, is uh, the best way to do that. Okay. Am I even going the right way? I'll put the neon sign and then go to the left. Wait. Oh, why do I come out here? Alright, there's the tiger. Wait, am I actually... <laughs> oh, he's tossing the meat. Did he eat it? Okay, he ate it. Okay, the door at the end of the hallway. Alright. Just tell her to talk to this guy again. 
iterum convenibus. Inter nos, puto te perdere tuae tempus vitae, cum hoc monte carnis. Indigito parvo habes ingenium maior quam toto in corpore eius, sed cum eheu conjungamini adjuvare vodo. Dice dicenti portae swordfish, et swordfish. in fredi licebit. Say swordfish at the talking door? Come on, tell me, there's gonna be something else in there. I mean, maybe you're forgetting something. You sure you didn't say, say anything about me or say, uh, hey, hey, that's good or anything like that, nothing? So say swordfish at the talking door. No idea what that fucking means, just yet. So now a lot of... A lot more wandering around, trying to figure out where the fuck to go. I think I'm supposed to go back the way I came from. Oh, you gotta use the meat every fucking time? Jesus. I think I'm supposed to go back this way. I'll find the way. I'll find the way eventually. Okay, wait. This. This is where I came from, right? No. In the doorway, idiots. Okay, yeah, I'm totally fucking lost. I'm gonna be wandering around for a while, I think, until I find another tiger. Who wrote these shitty-ass notes? Wait. Oh, there's a tiger. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to be? This might be where I'm supposed to go. Wait, no, did I just loop around? I think I might have looped around. I did! Fuck! Okay. I might start speeding up these loading screens because I'm going to be really fucking lost. Okay, this way goes to... Where does this go to? This goes to... nothing. And this goes in... Hot dog stand. We don't need to. We don't need to be, to go there. Fuck. That's right. This is already farther than most people have gotten in this game. I know I'm lost right now, but yeah, I'm just saying.
I have not done an actual full playthrough of this in many, many years. Uh, hmm. Okay, here's the pick a card guy. Let's go this way. Hey, look! Also, the best game on the 32X is Space Harrier, by far. It's a really good port. Go in the fucking doorway? Thank you. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, here we go! I think we're... Oops, I think we're making progress. Here we go. Anybody home? Open up! So obviously, nothing's Go gonna happen. Away. Get lost! Scram! And scray! Hit the road! Forgot to equip the password. Swordfish. Hello! Swordfish out here. A big one. Waiting to get in, and I'm not going to keep forever. Open up. Reel me in. Hey, a swordfish. That's a good, eh? Okay. Now shit gets even more confusing. I think. So I'm supposed to, like, s skip all these doors. On the one at the very end. Oh shit. Lower the audio. <laughs> Look how many fucking doors there are. This part sucks. I think I'm supposed to go in here. Oh sh shit! Okay, I can't I can't do what I need to do here yet because I don't have enough tokens. Those uh rabbits I'm supposed to be tossing in the the wood chippers. There's a door from the right. One, two, I think it's this one? I sure hope this is the right one. Oh. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Alright, start tossing rabbits in. Okay. 
Basically, there's going to be a giant-ass slot machine that you have to put these tokens into. And I think it gives you the prize after uh, six tokens. Alright, turn that shit off. <laughs> yeah, this dude has seen some shit. Making any money? What? The fuck did you just say? I'm here for the show. I'm here for the show. Okay. All right, so I came out this door, I think. Oh, making any money. He kind of mumbled it a bit. Okay, we have the tokens. We have enough tokens. Wait, which way is it? The left? Here we go. Okay, tokens. I didn't even go in. Wanna win tokens? the same thing from the slot machine, but apparently it's supposed to change after the 6-1. The a secret entrance here, but it's dark. They should really use their heads to see the light. You gotta use your head. That, of course, means using the wax head of uh, a pen that we picked up from the wax museum. Wait, why is it not working? You have to go in equipped with it? I hope that's it. This, this shit better light up. There we go. So if you don't have the head here, you're not going to be able to see a goddamn thing. And guess what? This shit is just as confusing as a lot of the other stuff we've had to go through, so... They'll have to keep tripping these guys up, like, we already get how you're supposed to get past these guys, but they keep putting them into the game. They're the most annoying enemies, just because that's pretty much all you use the Joker card for. Get in there, idiot. Okay, there's... Two exits here. Apparently the entrance on the left is just there to completely fuck you up. And gets you lost in the maze, so... Oh shit, Afro MH, thank you very much for the, for the sub. Much appreciated, my man. Enjoy your emotes and your blue gem. Thank you for enjoying my stream enough to subscribe. Okay, where was I? Doorway on the left. In the next room, the doorway on the right. Alright, I don't 
Mike even care about uh, cockroaches at this point? Another doorway on the right. Man. And there's one on the left? And then one by going up. This game is longer than the Super Spy. I just realized that. This game is a lot longer than the Super Spy. On the left end of this room, going up entrance. And then the doorway on the left. Uh, I've had the subscribe button for like the last two weeks, I think. I think it was two weeks ago. Oh, tell George I uh, I said thanks. Yeah, I don't I don't see him uh, talking very much in chat, but if he wants to alert, that's cool. It's all good. Okay, uh, where was I? Go through that door, then that door. Hey, look. Pick a card guy. <laughs> to be fair, though, this is a console game, not an arcade game, so... Ooh, we're finally in a new area. Okay. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, go into the first door you see. Yeah, if you cut out all the load times, who knows how long it would have taken. Okay, up on the next door. Wait. Uh-oh. Yeah, Oz, that's the crazy part. There's no save feature, there's no passwords. You have to finish this game in one go if you're playing on real hardware. And I think I'm lost. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me, uh... Oh, okay, I see where I, I fucked up. I went into the wrong door. Wait, no, I did go into the right door. What the fuck? Okay, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nowhere else you can go. Okay, wait. Oh, 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 okay. There's a person you're supposed to somehow know to talk to. This person? No. Oh, get up. Wait, is she even gonna come back? Maybe it's this door. Get out of my face! Oh fuck, that's gonna put a crack in the screen, isn't it? No. Fuck. Alright, back here. Get out of my face! There go my cockroaches. Can't talk to rude people or you crack the screen. Okay, I think there's somebody I'm supposed to talk to here. Her? Her? No? Okay, there's... 
shit, there's somebody I'm supposed to talk to. Here we go. Uh, talk to her. granddaughter has run away. Those evil men, stink bum and rot, promised her a birthday party, but they forgot to send someone to pick up her cake. Uh, and now she thinks we've forgotten her birthday. She's run away, and she's lost somewhere in the basement. Oh, 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 oh. So remember like two hours ago at the beginning of the game when I bought a birthday cake? <laughs> this is what you need it for. Wait, what the fuck? What happened to the top of the screen? It's all glitched out. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's awful, just awful. My precious little granddaughter has run away. Those evil Am I not men, equipped with the birthday cake? Stink bum and rot promised her a birthday party, but they forgot to send someone to pick up her cake. Uh, and now she thinks we've forgotten her birthday. She's run away and she's lost somewhere in the basement. Yeah, that, I think that's what happened. I bugged out the fucking top of the screen thanks to the cockroach. Shit. Oh, oh, thank you for getting me a cake and bringing me back to my granny. This is the best birthday present there ever was. I want to give you something, too. Here, this is all I have in the world. It's mustache wax. It's been handed down in my family for generations. But my mom and dad only had me, and I'm a girl. So I don't need it! <laughs> yeah, the display at the top is all fucked now. Shit. I haven't seen that happen before. But I'm a girl. And I don't need it. Alright, can I actually get it to come back if I talk to that woman again twice? Can I even... Fuck. I don't even know who I'm highlighting. Oh, this sucks. I hope the game is still finishable. <laughs> so I did all that, all that just to get mustache wax. Now remember that tattooed guy who uh, wants to get with the bearded lady. You have to give the mustache wax to the tattooed guy, so the <laughs> so he can give the mustache wax to the bearded lady. Yeah. Now how do I get back to the fucking carnival? Okay, leave the room from the left. I'm trying to... I gotta find one of those rude women to see if I can make the, the screen crack from the cockroaches again. That might fix it. Because otherwise, this display thing is going to piss me off. That one, the blonde one. Wait, no. Is it her? Maybe it wasn't her. Okay, back. Leave the room from the left. And left. Yeah, we gotta backtrack the fucking Vegas maze to get back to the carnival. Are we having fun yet or what? And you gotta do this game all in- Oh, I went the wrong way. All in one go. Okay. So I came out from there. Go to the right. This one? I'm here for the show. No, it's not her. It wouldn't let me talk to that woman. I was mashing on the A button. It wouldn't let me talk to her. It might be a, a different blonde woman. Okay, then go to the right. Then to the left. And back to the right.
Yeah, sometimes when you talk to the rude people, they don't uh, they don't actually like break the screen. I don't understand. Should not have talked to that woman in the first place. Oh well, I'm gonna assume the game is still finishable because I can still use the items. It just doesn't show them at the top of the screen. Okay, right, left, right, right, left. And then you push over one of the statues, so it's like, kind of a shortcut? Kinda? Yeah, Danny, I've been doing a full playthrough of this. Or I'm trying to get through all the way to the end. Okay, can I actually use the items? Okay, I can still use the items. Alright. Up entrance, all the way left to the last door. Let's switch over to the teller. Oh, this is a pain in the ass not being able to see the items at the top of the screen. I really fucked up. Okay, I think this is the right way. On the right. Oh, I really hope this is it. Yes! Whoa, Teller! Suddenly I'm starting to feel a, a little festive, like I want to see a bad clown actor kick up some musty old carnival sawdust. That can only mean one thing. Popcorn's a-poppin'! <laughs> what do you say, Teller? Carnival time? All right. Dude, this is too much of a fucking pain in the ass to try to map. All right, so now I gotta fi figure out where the uh, tattooed man was. Oh, just go over here. Is it the second tent? Here we go. Alright, who has the mustache wax? Mustache wax? Really? Do you, do you think it'll do the trick? Okay, I'll give it a try. Alright. <laughs> Cause I'm a girl, and I don't need it! That was the best part of the game. Oop, there we go. Yeah. Lydia, um, this is for you. Oh! Uh, that wax was just what I needed. I feel so much more womanly now. Oh, Hubert, how thoughtful of you. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> you couldn't get both people on the screen at the same time. Okay, does that automatically gave me the... Okay, they don't tell you what happens here, but they give Teller a stethoscope. That's your reward for bringing the, uh, the tattooed guy and <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> for bringing the tattooed guy and Gibby together. Oh no! Oh 
shit. All right, well, here's the, uh, here's a problem. We're near the end of the game, but I don't remember the exact way to get back to, uh, to where the stethoscope needs to be used, so this is, uh, this is a problem. Oh, boy. Shit, how did I even find my way back to the... Fucking Vegas. Find the cats. Okay, this might be some wandering around until I figure out how to get there. If I could get back to, to New York, I know where to go from there, but I don't really know the, the carnival that well. Like, the carnival doesn't make as much sense. Oh, here, wait. Okay, this will take me back to New York. We're gonna do that. This might be the long way, because you can, you can also warp, like, straight from the carnival to, to Las Vegas, but I don't remember where the, where the cats are. Ooh, hot dog. You know, tell her the unmistakable smell of meat byproducts sure does give me a hankering for the Big Apple. <laughs> what do you say? Want to go to New Jack? Okay. So, back to New York. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. My notes ended here because I was stuck trying to figure out what the fuck you were supposed to use the, steth the stethoscope on. And once I figured it out, I forgot to... I kind of forgot to write down how to get back to... Where you have to use the, steth the stethoscope on. So, uh... It's in Vegas. Somewhere in that fucking maze of hallways and doorways. It's really annoying not having the uh, the items at the top. Alright, there's the pet store. Whew! Tell her! Did you get, did you get a whiff of that? Stray tabby cats. Nothing else in the world smells like that. Except maybe those pesky tigers that stink bomb and rots. What do you say? Wanna go? <laughs> Alright, so the goal here is to find a... Uh, there's a double door somewhere. Not the same double door that you had to use the swordfish password on. There's a closed door somewhere. With, like, uh, posters of Stink Bomb and Rot nearby. But... I have no idea where that is! Like, I assume it's through the, uh... You have to go through this way past the swordfish door. It has to be. Here's the fucking hallway of doors, right? Maybe I'll just go in random doors here and see if one of these is the way to the wherever the fuck I'm looking for.
Jesus, more doorways. Maybe it's in here? Okay, this is the... This is where the slot machine was? No. No, this is the same hallway. Okay, this takes me... Where does this take me? <laughs> fuck. Where the fuck am I? Oh, is this it? No. This is a slot machine. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go back the way I came. Since you knock over that, uh, that statue. To uncover that path. Oh boy! All right, thanks, Duke. Have a good night. Uh, hope, you feel, hope you feel better. I don't know what's up with the jumping animations. I just mash on the jump button because it's faster than walking. Oh, fuck. I went the wrong way. <laughs> So, did I ever go in here? I'm not sure I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I went that way. Oh, right, this is a dead end. Dude, Macaw, this game is crazy long. Although I'm nearing the end, if I can just figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go now. There's like one double doorway I have to find. And then I'll be like pretty much at the end of the game. But I gotta find it first. Okay, that's a dead end. I'm a girl. And I don't need it. Alright, I... I don't think I went this way. Well, I have the, I have the stream archive to, to add to my, my unfinished fact for this game. That I can update later. It's still shorter than the final stage in Metal Slug 3. True enough. Wait, I'm back here? Oh, fuck. That takes you back here? This is like the beginning of the level. Wait. Is it? Did I go this way? Did I ever go this way? There wasn't a tiger there before. Okay, I don't remember this. Well, there's a guide on my website that has the, uh, a lot of stuff for the Super Spy, so that's pretty much the closest thing to that guide. Alright, I hope this is the right way. Oh, I found it! I found it! Okay, this is it. Thank God. 
Also, I don't know if it's because of the graphics are fucked up, but they're like disappearing behind the door. That, that can't be right. So I was stuck here for the longest time. Like, I knew there was like something to this. Like, you have to go through that door. You can't go through this, this doorway right here, but you know, there's something to this door that you have to do. But I couldn't figure it out. What you have to do, apparently, you push up on that fucking poster and it uncovers a safe. But, uh... Uh... Oh, I got the, uh, I got the icons back. Nice. So what you have to do is... Uh, select Teller, equip the stethoscope. Like, I was stuck here for so fucking long trying to figure this out, and then I don't know how I figured it out. You have to press up on that poster to uncover a fucking safe. Okay. Wait till I hear the beep. Oh, I fucking up. Well, I hope that counts. Don't want to overshoot it. Just in case. I might have fucked it up already. Yeah, I guess I don't want you to overshoot it. Okay, let's try that again. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I got the icons back after I came out of this screen for some reason. Thank God. All right, careful. Oh, maybe it would have counted. I'm losing time on my speed run. I've done like a full circle. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. Maybe I did fuck it up. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> fuck! I didn't think you'd have to do like a full turn. Oops. Okay, exit. Thank you. Okay, I know where the, the first one is. Alright, now we're gonna have to go like all the fucking way around to like... It was at what, like 2 o'clock? Okay. 
Oh, I don't want to overshoot this now. Just have to do one more and then push the C button. That should be it. This is so dumb. There we go. Thank God. All that to open the fucking door. Alright, should almost be at the end. I think. Very close. Oh god, here we go. No, no, no. Well, they're not actually enemies. The final boss. Magic is real. Bomb and rock. Alright, almost there. All you do is climb all the way up. Go inside the dragon's head. And this is it, the last boss. There's Stink Bomb and Rod up there. And if you look over to the right, remember the very beginning of the game. The very beginning of the game. The first item you pick up is a bazooka. There's the ammo for the bazooka. They've been teasing you the entire game with that fucking bazooka. Wait, Teller has to use it. And so here we go. The actual the actual conclusion to Smoke and Mirrors. You just fire the bazooka. Just fucking blow up their mansion. And then get on the desert bus. That's it. That's the entire ending. Two hours and 44 minutes, and that is the fucking ending. You blow up Stink Bomb and Rot, and that's it. It just fucking ends like that. No staff roll, no nothing. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. It just dumps you back in the main menu. Keep in mind, though, this game wasn't officially released, but... Those that say, you know, the game isn't, uh... Isn't playable to the end. It is playable to the end, they just... Kind of forgot to put in an ending, I guess? Alright, it's time to try impossible difficulty again. Yeah, not even a video of them eating pizza or anything like that. What the fuck? Alright, now that I've finished the game, I can, I can definitely handle impossible mode. Hey, Teller, it's Lou Reed, the original rock and roll animal himself. Lou, how you doing, man? This is the impossible level, boys. Impossible doesn't mean very difficult. Very difficult is winning the Nobel Prize. Impossible is eating the sun. You're too cool for us, Lou.
We'll never be as cool as you are. Never. Damn, I thought I had the strats to get past Lou Reed. But impossible mode is impossible. All right. <laughs> well, that was all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to reach the end of Smoke and Mirrors. Actually, wait, I have an idea. No. No, I'm not doing Desert Bus. What if I do the Sun Scorcher thing? Hold on a second. Let me take this off for just a... Oops, wrong picture. Take this off for just a second. No, I'm not doing Desert Bus. Fuck off. Okay. Wait, actually. Is this gonna. Is Sun Scorcher actually gonna work? Oh, that's one of the ones in disc two. Okay, can I actually load it from, from there? actually work. Okay, little buddy, get ready. You want to shoot right right at that little sucker there. Come on, come on. Wait till wait the baby door opens. Go out! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait for it! Wait for it! Wait for it! Let him open up! Let him open up! Go, 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 go! Yo! Oh! Okay, right, right, right in there! Oh, boy! Oh, oh, oh. That, that's hot! Oh, good, good, good shoot. Good shoot. Sun Scorcher, a, a brave lone space pod protects its home world by taking on the mother of all invasion ships. Simple, fun, action-packed. For most people, that'd be enough. But we're Penn and Teller. We don't settle for enough. We've got to have more and plenty of it. That flashing you saw, we call it thermographics, a brand new, sophisticated, Imaging technology that Teller and I developed especially for this game. Teller, just take a take a quick look at that, okay? Good. <coughs> Thermographics produce the most intense and vivid images you'll ever see in any video game. In fact, the graphics are so graphics are so ow! <sighs> it's cold. In fact, the graphics are so cool, Absolute licensed the code from us to use in some of their other games. Okay, easy, easy. Careful, 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 careful. There's a catch, though, and it's an important one. Whenever they appear, thermographics produce dangerous microwave bursts. That's what makes them look so intense. Don't you ever, ever touch the screen when thermographics appear. We mean it. You can, you can really hurt yourself and permanently damage your television. And without the use of your hands and TV, it's really hard for us, Absolute and Sega, to sell you more games. Thermographics are always fired by this bug ugly mothership. This on screen warning will flash right before they release, so pay attention. Sega would only give us permission to do this if we had this garbled. warning. Oh, probably wondering about the goggles. Don't worry, by the time the game actually comes out and you have it in your hot little hands, we'll have the brightness toned way down so you won't need to wear them. Whoa. Look, uh, we admit we're doing a little kidding around here. We'd like to have fun as much as anyone else, but we're really serious about this. Please, please don't touch the screen when the warning appears. Please don't. It's, it's really dangerous. 
and tell it. Let's let's demonstrate this again. But this time, let let me use the controller because because I because this is a, this is the last. This is yeah. Help me find the mothership. Die, you alien scum! Die! 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 Ow! Okay, so. Whoa. The following game contains thermal graphics, a new imaging technology developed and used exclusively by Absolute Entertainment Incorporated. Thermal graphics consist of high intensity, ultra high resolution graphic elements that on some systems may generate harmful microwave bursts. Do not, under any circumstances, touch your television screen when thermal graphics appear. Severe injury or damage to your television may result. Yeah, right. Thermographics. They're really insistent that, you know, you touch the screen, it's gonna be white hot. I mean, you can't really you can't really do that with graphics. But uh, let's try this out. So there's like a one player mode and a two player mode. It actually starts you as player one. Or player two. Oh, where's the. Oh, there's the. There's the mothership. Oh, here it goes. It's gonna fire. Oh, warning. Thermographics. Is it gonna happen? Alright, I gotta, I gotta try this. Ow! Alright, I actually reached out to touch my monitor. That was actually was kind of warm. I'm actually kind of surprised. Anyway, this is a pretty shitty space shooter. Wait, how do you even get the S? I'm supposed to shoot it? Yeah, this is a this isn't a very good game, but I really wonder about that thermographics thing. I mean, they wouldn't. They can't be serious about that. Okay, I swear I just felt like a, a blast of heat from the from the monitor there. That doesn't make any sense. Like that shit. That can't be for real. Oh yeah, there are buttons to go in and out. Thank you, SK. I'm really bad at this. There we go. Points. Okay, so when this thing starts up, I guess that's when it does the uh, thermographics. Do it. 